the never-ending arms race continues into the 21st century, comparing weapon systems across sea, air, and land. Welcome to Millpower Versus. The United States Air Force's F-22A Raptor, the world's first fifth generation aircraft and the premier air superiority fighter. Russia's SU-57, NATO reporting name, Felon, is Russia's lone stealth plane and first fifth generation design. Fifth generation aircraft combines stealth, super cruise, advanced integrated avionics, and high maneuverability. These two aircraft represent each nation's most advanced fighter in active service. In today's video, we will compare these two aircraft using publicly available data. Welcome to the inaugural episode of my newest series, Millpower Versus. The primary strength of a fifth generation fighter is its stealth. Stealth is defined as low observability maintained in multiple spectrums, primarily radar cross-section and infrared. Both aircraft feature design aspects to reduce their radar cross-section, including planned form alignment and a strategic use of radar absorbing materials. Both aircraft utilize advanced low probability of intercept radar and internal weapon storage. It is believed by experts, however, that the Raptor has the advantage in RCS. Notable reasons being the SU-57's round, non-serrated engine nozzles, partial serpentine air intakes, non-faceted IRST or infrared search and track, and leading edge vortex controllers, or LEVCONs for short. Each of these increases the aircraft's RCS for various reasons. In comparison, the Raptor's flat, angular exhaust nozzles not only provide enhanced infrared energy dispersion, but also reflect radar from the rear. The serpentine air intakes make it impossible to see the engine's compressor blades from the front, which are very radar reflective. Shaping, platform alignment, and RAM allow the Raptor to further push the low observability envelope. In fact, the Raptor is currently the stealthiest fighter ever built and is arguably the stealthiest manned aircraft, period. This doesn't make the Felon a slouch in radar evasion, however, as its low observability is likely superior to any 4th or 4 plus gen aircraft. Both the F-22 and SU-57 are capable of supersonic speeds greater than Mach 2 and can supercruise flying faster than the speed of sound without the use of afterburner. The Raptor is superior in this regime, not only clocking in at a max speed of Mach 2.25 or 1,725 miles per hour, but also supercruising at Mach 1.8 or 1,381 miles per hour, compared to Mach 2 or 1,535 miles per hour and Mach 1.3 or 997 miles per hour respectively for the Russian jet. So, the American fighter is both faster and stealthier. Is there anywhere the felon can compete? Well, yes actually, range. The SU-57 is a larger aircraft than the F-22, which means it can carry more fuel. In fact, the felon carries as much internal fuel as an F-22 would carry internally, plus a single external tank. This allows it not only greater range, but better endurance. This gives it a stated range of 2,200 miles, while the Raptor needs both external tanks to reach 1,800 miles with a combat loadout. The Felon can also leverage these expansive fuel stores to super cruise for longer durations of time. Now, what truly makes these aircraft impressive are their advanced integrated avionics. There will always be speculation on these systems, yet it is impossible to know for certain their capabilities as avionics are always kept highly classified. 
All we know for certain is that both fighters have advanced, low probability of intercept Aesa radars, with the Raptor having a single large array in the nose, while the Felon has four total. The full-sized frontal array, two smaller cheek radars on the sides on the nose underneath the cockpit, and a rear radar in the tail. This provides the fighter with a near 360 degree field of radar coverage. Both aircraft feature advanced sensor fusion capabilities that combine the info from multiple avionics into multiple displays. Finally, we get to maneuverability. Both the Raptor and Felon are super maneuverable, capable of executing movements that pure aerodynamics alone cannot perform. Both fighters feature thrust vectoring nozzles on their engines, changing the direction of exhaust exiting the engine, providing enhanced agility. The F-22A Raptor features 2D thrust vectoring, pitching the F-119's nozzles plus or minus 20 degrees in the vertical axis, while the SU-57 Felon's 3D thrust vectoring Saturn AL-41 can vector its nozzles plus or minus 20 degrees in any direction. It is believed that this would give it the edge over the Raptor in instantaneous turn rate and post-all maneuvers, while the Raptor's superior thrust-to-weight ratio, non cancet nozzles, and larger rudders provide better sustained turn rates. Opinion time. If I had to pick one to fly into combat against the other, which would I take? The SU-57 Felon is a larger fighter, providing me longer range, better endurance, four radars for better situational awareness, and a longer range missile in the R-77M, which can reach out to a range of 120 miles, versus the AIM-120D Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, and its max range of 100 miles. Very capable and formidable. Not to be taken lightly at all. However, due to the Raptor's superior stealth, those extra radars and longer range missiles won't do much good. On a head-on vector, the Raptor will both see and have a firing solution on the Felon first due to the F-22 having a much smaller RCS. Combine this with a higher top speed, faster cruise speed, better infrared dispersion, and a larger internal payload of six AMRAMs and two AIM-9X short-range infrared-seeking missiles compared to four R-77Ms and two R-74M2 short-range air-to-air missiles, the Raptor has a substantial advantage in BVR engagements. If we make it to the merge, it's a far more even fight. The Felon's 3D thrust vectoring gives it better yaw control while its left cons would provide enhancements for both stability and turn rate. The F-22 on the other hand sports a better thrust to weight ratio, IR reductions, and streamlined nozzles which would help reduce energy bleed in a sustained turn. Both of these aircraft are extremely deadly in a dogfight. Given the complete package of both aircraft, their capabilities, limitations, and roles I'm taking the F-22A Raptor for this air combat scenario. Tell me in the comments which fighter you'd rather take into combat and why. In the next episode of Mill Power vs, we will be comparing the US Navy's Arleigh Burke Flight 3 Destroyer versus the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy Type 55 Rinhai Destroyer, two of the most capable and advanced surface combatants in the world today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when I drop more mill power content. See you in the next one. F22 Raptor, baby.